In Act 1, Scene 4, Hamlet and Horatio accompany Marcellus on his watch. While waiting for the ghost, they hear much revelry from within the castle. Hamlet remarks that the new king is drinking and partying again. He talks for a while about how Claudius' behavior gives Denmark a poor reputation, taking away from its better qualities. Carrying the thought further, Hamlet talks about how one fault can overwhelm all the positive attributes someone has. Hamlet is then stunned by the ghost's appearance. It really does look like his late father. He begs the ghost to speak and tell him why he has come. In response, the ghost ominously beckons Hamlet to follow him, which Hamlet is eager to do. Horatio cautions Hamlet not to follow the ghost because it's probably dangerous. Horatio and Marcellus try to stop Hamlet, but he breaks free and follows the ghost. The two friends, in turn, follow Hamlet. This short, powerful scene at last confronts Hamlet with the ghost. Claudius' character is further tainted with his drunken celebrations. Not a great way to honor the memory of his dead brother. And this kind of behavior makes Denmark look bad. Although Claudius is not the first ruler to indulge in such revelry, Hamlet seems to think it's pretty excessive given the circumstances. The scene shifts sharply with the appearance of the ghost. A stark contrast is set between Hamlet's distant and negative view of his uncle and his devotion to his father, literally following him even in death. Shakespeare uses this tension-filled moment to introduce a few important ideas. First, the depth of Hamlet's sadness. I do not set my life at a pin's fee. Hamlet thinks his life has no value. Second, the theme of madness. Horatio warns Hamlet that if he follows the ghost, he could go mad. Madness, whether real or pretended, plays a central role. Much of what transpired with Hamlet and the ghost takes place out of sight and earshot.